Hi everyone, it's Gwendolyn here, your desperate housewife who crafts. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful watercolor bouquet using stamps from Altenew. I was inspired to make this card after watching a course at the Altenew Academy called Watercolor Basics and Be Beyond by Jennifer Raza. So to create today's watercolor bouquet card, I'll be using various stamps from Altenew. First of all, a vase from the Versatile Vases, the Majestic Bloom, this is Wallpaper Art, one of the newest stamps I've just got, and Perennial Beauty. Now this card is going to be messy and abstract and so fun. So let's start, shall we? So I started by watercoloring one of the stamps, uh, vases stamps from Old News Versatile Vases stamp set. And since I started watercoloring two years ago, I've always wondered whether I could watercolor my stamps. I don't know why I never tried it. So when I saw Jennifer Raza do that paint directly on her stamps using watercolors as inks in her Watercolor Basics and Beyond course in Alt New Academy that I took, I was so happy that it was possible to do it. So today in this um, video, I'm going to just use my watercolors as ink and paint the stamps directly. So once I stamp this seemingly blob on the piece of paper, I'm going in with a darker color to give my flower some form now. Now you'll notice throughout this video that I'm just using my stamps more as an idea of where to place my flowers. I'm not going to be following the shape of the flower exactly. I think this way of painting using stamps as a guideline could be really good to start off for beginner painters who would like to paint a watercolor bouquet but who are quite afraid not really sure where to start. Even for me, even though I've painted for the last two years and I'm getting quite good in my technique, if you put a bunch of flowers or a photo of something in front of me, I can paint it technically quite well. But tell me to paint a loose abstract piece of flowers, for example, and I get quite lost. So using stamps first is a great way to start because I know where I'm going to put the flowers and the stamps will give some form of shape to the flowers that I want. But then after that I can be free in how I want to paint. And using the layered stamps from Alt New it's also a good way to help uh, add some form to what was a blob before and help me understand where I should put the different values to make the blob turn into a flower. So as you can see, I'm not following the exact form again. I'm just pulling out the darker paint that I put down on the layered stamp and just pulling it out so that it'll create a more wispy feeling to this flower I'm trying to create. Now the inspiration for this flower bouquet actually came from a watercolor class that I took um, quite a few months ago and the teacher brought an image of a watercolor bouquet in a, a vase and told us to try and paint it. I, I didn't have time to actually try it but I, ha I st still have this image in my head so that's why I'm trying to recreate. Now. If you don't have an image in your head that you want to paint, there are tons of images out there on Pinterest or on internet, but make sure if you're copying um, a painting or using one of the photo uh, photographs or painting to paint your, your painting, make sure you pick an image that is licensed for reuse with modification or has no that's free to use so you can look um, for images like that on internet going into your settings and looking for images labeled for reuse with modification or labeled for reuse with non-commercial purposes right back to this painting 
So as you can see, this stamp that I used was not uh, was just an outline of a stamp. So I could have used an you know a distress ink or one of Alt News inks that that um, can be diluted with watercolor. But I guess I was just into my thing of painting my stamps with watercolor, so I just did it. Now with this stamp, I'm following more the form of the stamp. So I'm trying to recreate the petals and the values on in the flower of the stamp. I'm using a very diluted form of opera rose paint for this flower. I used cadmium yellow for the yellow flower before and the big peony I used um, in the base color I used in the beginning was a mixture of permanent rose and orange but a very light wash and the deeper areas of the flowers I used rose of ultramarine I'm using Daniel Smith watercolors here so now I've decided that um, the peony on the right is uh, the color is a bit too dark from what I wanted. So what I, I'm doing now is I'm going in with a clean wet brush and I'm just brushing over, painting over the areas I want to make lighter. So the water on my clean brush will take off the paint on my flower. Now you can only do this when the paint is still a little wet. If it's very dry it's much harder to do but you still can. You just have to go in a lot more. So now I am coloring another stamp from Alt News Watercolor Art stamp set and I just got these stamps last week so I couldn't wait to use them. I'm painting this stamp, the outline of this stamp with Prussian blue and it's a beautiful blue color and I wanted a darker blue sorry a darker color to coordinate with the rose and the yellows I've been using so that my painting won't be so dull now I could have used a mask on the peony on the right instead of just stamping my flower over it but I actually wanted some bleeds I wanted some of the pink from the the peony on the right to, to mix with the blues and the the yellow to be shown beneath the flower and then I decided I didn't really like it that much so I just went in with my paper towel and I just dapped off the ink the blue ink so you, you can see I added clean water on it and just dabbed it with the paper towel and it took away the ink so now I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of my watercoloring process with some music and I'll come in a little later on to tell you how I created the reflex, reflections on the vase.
I finished painting the bouquet, I've started painting the vase and I'm going to give some reflection to the vase because it's made of glass and it's transparent. So what I do is I dip my brush into clean water and then I dry the brush, take the excess water away from the brush and go through the vase and paint lines on, on the vase. So I take the excess water away from the brush and I just draw lines on the vase. So now I'm going in with darker paint to line my vase. Now, a lot of you might say, those of you who are not um, experienced painters or who just started painting, that might ask me, how do I know to paint th this a certain way? Well, for starters, using stamps is much easier because with the vase stamp I stamped, there is certain lines already on the stamp, so that's really helpful to know where to put a darker color or to put the lines or give values to. So starting a watercolor painting using stamps, I think it's a great way to learn. Obviously, I didn't do it that way before I watched this course on Elk New Academy. I didn't know we could watercolor on stamps, so using inks and stamps was a bit more rigid because sometimes it just wouldn't flow. So another way of getting really good at watercoloring is copying. I know everybody here is copy, oh my god, we're not supposed to copy, but everybody copies. The great artists, they all copied. The only thing that um, you mustn't do is passing off a copy as your own. So copying is fine to improve your technique. Copying is not fine where you paint something that of somebody else's and then just pass it off your own without any credit to the person. So copy your favorite artist and just paint, paint and paint. In fact, I started a 100 day painting challenge to improve my technique. If you want to follow my progress, you can see it on my Instagram account. So now I'm just adding the final touches to my painting. I realized that it needed a little bit of a brighter green because the greens I was using was a little bit too dull. But it's nice to have a mixture of all these greens. I'm now adding a little bit of a shadow to get, add more dimension to my painting. And you'll see, you saw before that I added a darker, much darker color in the middle of the flowers. Never be afraid to add darker colors. This will really bring out the contrast in your paintings and make it more beautiful. To finish, I added some splatters on my card and I stamped the thank you sentiment also from Alt New. Well, thanks for following me through this process as I showed you how to watercolor using Alt New stamps. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!